Oh, good shirt. Hey, little peach. Hey, pumpkin. What's going on? It's Sunday. Woo-hoo! 27th. Yeah. Sadly, the last weekend in October has come to an end. Oh, it really is sad. It, it just, went it just hit me. so quick. And I don't like it. It went so quick. It went so quick. We're now into Halloween week. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like, um, I don't know. I don't the want... final countdown. If you enjoyed that, you should listen to our podcast because that's what we are. We are a podcast first and foremost. That's Pumpkin, I'm Peach, and together we are the Pumpkin and Peach podcast. Not Wild Stallions. I mean, we just did an amazing mm. job. <laughs> Jeff on air synthesizer. <laughs> <laughs> um, but so uh, we talk about our day to day lives, the things that we do, um, fun stuff like this. Um, uh, I'm trying to think that we love going to the drive in, we love traveling, we love. All things spooky we and creepy. We driving on Friday. Yeah, we did. Um, I saw two movies that I had never seen before. Jeff saw The Substance, and which he had never seen before. And then he got... That I wanted re- to see. Yeah. And he got a redo of Terrifier. We will have um, in the episode, our episode that's coming out next Wednesday. So the 29th, I believe. No. No, 30th. The 30th, yeah. Halloween's Thursday. Yeah, sorry. Uh, on the 30th, um, there we will talk about the movies that mm-hmm. we watched. Mm-hmm. Not in great depth, but we will go yeah. into it. So if you're curious about our thoughts on that, please go listen to that episode. It means a lot when we have listeners. Or anything. <laughs> yeah. And follow us on social media. Subscribe to us here. Like mm-hmm. this video. Comment oh, yeah, we on haven't it. done tell that us, in a while. Tell us what you think. Yeah. Um, go to our social media. We have a Facebook page, we have an Instagram. Mm-hmm. Uh, listen to the podcast. Uh, we just we appreciate every one of you. Uh, if you take the time to watch this, listen, interact with us, we really appreciate it. Everybody that's out there, it really means a lot to us. Anytime we get anything, oh, we got a new subscriber, we got a new listen, we got a new this, a new follow, we get excited about it. It mm-hmm. really, it's you know, we, we just. Do. Started this, you know, and we just thought, hey, maybe people might carry me out. They might not. But whenever we get somebody new or something new, we're just like, we're still in all of it, mm-hmm. even at this point. And when I say we appreciate you and thanks for being here, we really mean that. Like, we're not just saying it because it's what I say. No. We really mean it and we it's really appreciate it. It's not some gimmicky it. kind of like yeah. cutesy thing. It's like. We honestly mean it. I mean, I know anybody could tell you that, but, like, mm-hmm. it's it's the truth. Yeah. Um, I mean, we'd still be doing it if we didn't have any viewers, but to know that we do have viewers and friends, like we like to call you guys, Yeah, it we just don't say fans, listeners, whatever. We're all friends. We want yeah. you to just feel like you're hanging out with friends. Like, right now, you're just shooting the shit with some friends. You're hanging out. Same thing with our podcast. If you listen to us... Mm-hmm. You're just hanging out with some friends. And, yeah, yeah, you can't join in, but, like, we hope you feel that way. And, like, you joining in is, like, joining us on social media. Mm -hmm. Subscribing, following, commenting on stuff, telling us what you think, you know, giving us your input. Like, that's that's your part, like, of the friendly chats that or the hangs that we have. Like, we want you to be like, hey... I had that, or I tried that, or maybe I would try that, or although that didn't look good, or that thing you talked about, like, this is what I think about it. Like, we want to know all that stuff. And uh, we want to know, if, like, if you ever check out any of the stuff that we talk about, like, let us know that, too. Like, if you ever tried anything that we talked about, like, a, alcohol-wise, food-wise, candy, if you, candy, if you yeah. ever went to a place that, you know, if you have... If you have a drive-in near you, like, let us know. Mm-hmm. Whatever you want to tell us. Even if you just want to, like, just... I literally shoot the shit. It doesn't matter, you know? Yeah. But what is this? What is this? (laughs) This is... Ooh, that's like what Jack would say. What? What is this? Oh, what? I don't know if he says that back there. He might say it. This... I don't... Can can they see that? They can see... um, That Jack bust? Yes. 
right there. Mm-hmm. He talks. I don't He's not it. the one that Jeff has that his mouth moves because that one creeps me out. He says. Recycled through. No, oh, they should have had him say, "What's this?" They re- they really should. That thing was expensive, by the <laughs> by the way. It's very breakable, delicate. It's like made out of like resin. I don't want to say ceramic. Um, he has a little hat and a Santa beard that in the back of him that he I put on during Christmas time. The movie's in there. Um, I'm not a fan of the movie that came with it. It's not the same as the DVD version I have. They changed some of the songs. So I never watched that one. Um, but yeah, that was like a limited edition kind of thing. All right. But yeah. It's, so what do is Do we it? even... Yeah. No. no. This <laughs> is our pumpkin patch. We have dwindled down because... That's it, Cabbage Patch. Yeah. <laughs> what? Let's create a dance move called the pumpkin patch. What could that be? <laughs> <laughs> Picking up this pumpkin. Picking well, that's up this Pamela P- Pumpkin something. It's well, I have no Laura idea. Cleary. She does it. Never I have no idea of any of the names you just said. It's fine. All right. So we started out on October 1st with 31 pumpkins. We so had, hopeful yeah. for the month. <laughs> yeah. We've had a good October. It's been fun. It's been busy. It's been crazy, but it's been fun. Mm-hmm. Um, so... What the fuck is that? Um, so we have a couple of pumpkins left. Each pumpkin is a um, oh, fancy. Oh yeah, I got good hand. Dexterous. Um, this pumpkin has don't, a bottle of booze, and I wasn't going to. Yeah, don't has, get too crazy. Has a mini bottle of booze in it. Um, it's my night because it's an odd night. It's the twenty seventh, so I get to pick. So you're gonna and, start like cocktail and shit. <laughs> All right, please. Then. See, that's what happens. <laughs> My hand eye wasn't good. Good thing these are mostly plastic. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we also do have the last of our four. We didn't have these uh, when we were at the drive-in, but no, we didn't so that's why we did the last two last night and then tonight. Well, yesterday morning and tonight. This one's caramel apple. Let's save the best for last. Possibly, you don't know that caramel apples. Like what my if sweet flavor. cinnamon was the best one? Because that was um, good. The candy corn one was really. It good. It was really good. Candy All corn, right. you say? Ooh, we got something coming up for that. Oh yeah, we do. No, well, not in this. But it's no. gonna be a separate video. And we we already recorded it, but yeah. All right, so. Oh, oh you're not gonna like this. No, I'm not. Oh. So this is a hundred percent agave azul ghost. It's blanco, spicy, tequila with Ooh. natural flavors. This is forty percent alcohol. Ooh, girl. Ooh. Um, don't drink while pregnant. This comes from Mexico. I really kind of wish we would have got that one on Halloween. That would have been, you know, sorry, better suited for Halloween. I don't know what those numbers are. I don't mean. think you're going to be better suited for any time. Oh. What numbers? I don't it's know. just like the lot number or whatever. Nom. The nom 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 number. Tequila with natural flavors added. 40% alcohol. Blanco spicy. 100% agave. Azul. Ghost. Ooh. Um, okay, so I got to get some fun facts. Ooh. I'm a ghost tequila. Badoom. Dum dum dum. Can you just give me a little bit? So, the same. That is not the same at all. Oh my god, it's gonna hurt so bad. Okay. So, tonight's fun fact Des Moines, Iowa has a unique tradition called Beggar's Night. In most places, trick-or-treaters simply have to arrive in costume in order to get their Halloween candy. But that's not the case in Des Moines. The Des Moines Register explains that as part of their Beggar's Night ritual, kids have to do a trick or tell a joke of some sort to earn their share of candy. And drink some hooch. (laughs) Oh. 
they dress up as hobos with a little fucking uh, bindle. That's what it's called. Mm-hmm. Well, Remember that- when that was a, a costume you could yes. wear? Can't do that these days. People don't let you do. You, you can't be a hobo. That's a not PC, I don't think. I don't know. I'm so worried about this. <laughs> so worried. You should be. All right, so Jeff is going to sip this, or he's going to taste it. I'm first. just going to shoot it. Yeah, he's going to and let I me know. I got more than she does. Yeah. So um, maybe I should just fucking do it. It's up to you. I mean, I'll I'll do it first. I don't want you to, no, I don't want you to. Alright. I'm going to do it, because if it's not for a little peach, then a little peach shan't, shan't have it. <laughs> I shan't. <laughs> right. I don't want, because guess what? <laughs> I don't want to deal with a little peach later on, <laughs> so I'd rather be the food tape, the poison tester now, <laughs> to like, later on be like, I shouldn't have. Well, I'm going to stop you right there. <laughs> I'm going to Kanye West you. Okay. And I, I'm going to let you finish. Okay. Cheese. Cheese. If you don't know, you need to go back and watch uh, the other videos. Boy, uh, now I'm I'm worried, but I'm going to do it. You got this. Do it. Well, I will sound, say <laughs> it is smooth. It is spicy. Like how spicy? I mean, nothing that I don't think you can't handle. Um, it does have a burny. You're going to get the burn. Mouth spiciness, not a lot. Nothing that I don't think. It's not much spicier than like the hot honey chips. Okay, or, ready? Or the, the triple ones. They okay. might be wrong there. Three, two, one. Like it's smooth. But you get that burn. It's not harsh in your mouth. No. But it's spicy. That's so spicy. I didn't oh, think so. Maybe. Can you give me some? Yeah, you can. You can. You can sip all the rest of that. Since oh. I drank the first iteration of that. That's not going to help. I don't think. Um, it's good. Again, I guess you could use that like. A spicy margarita, I suppose. Yeah. Um, and that's good. I like spicy cocktails. All right. We're going to... Last uh, flavor of the Tootsie Rolls, the... What were they? The is Harvest. It green? Is it green? I hope it's green. I think it it's is green. green. Or are they Harvest? Harvest something. So... Harvest Chews. Harvest Chews. Mm, that smells promising. All right. Cheese. Cheese. Mm. It was good. Mm. It's more apple than caramel. Yeah, it's true. But a regular caramel apple would be more apple than caramel because it's mostly apple just covered in caramel. Yeah, so... What are you doing? Um, Brock's, the people that make the candy corn, put out um, a candy corn a couple of years ago. It was Thanksgiving dinner candy corn. You never found that. No, I didn't. Oh, crap, where is it? Crap. Oh, it says they're supposed to be... Coming out again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But tell me what it is. Brock's. Yeah, the Thanksgiving candy corn. So the original one was called Turkey Dinner. When the winner. It had these were candy corn flavors green beans, roasted turkey, cranberry sauce. Ginger glazed carrot, sweet potato pie, and stuffing. I wanted to try these so bad because I love candy corn. So I guess these came out in um, 2020. I'm all about a stuffing chip, but a candy corn, I don't think so. Now, the carrot, the glazed carrot, and the sweet potato pie might be all right. 
but the rest do not lend themselves to being a candy corn. It says that you can get these on DoorDash. Yeah, I bet you can. Whoops, this item is not available Whoops, in area. we Whoops. lied. Yeah. Whoops, um, there it ain't. But, like, whenever they come out with, like, anything, any sort of candy uh, that's, like, fall-flavored, we have to try it. Mm -hmm. And, like, last, a couple of years ago, Brock's came out with, like, the leaf candy corn. We have Sour Patch Kid apples that we're going to be eating with, like, the last couple of these. But, yeah. So, um, so that's that. So That is that. Today is... The end of the last weekend of October. So sad. It is so sad. Um, Halloween is uh, five days away. And next week you'll be treated to the craziness. Um, the craziness? That is the last week of Advent. Oh yeah, I guess that's craziness. Yeah. Um, I'm looking forward to Bacon Fest. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Jeff and I have a date on Halloween because we were going to go hang out with one of our friends. Which we have... could still do. We're doing it early enough. Yeah, I guess That's so. why I picked the earliest time, um, just to leave the night open. Yeah, because we were going to have a fire with our friend and um, just sit outside his house and hand out candy and just hang out. Because I haven't seen them in no. a while. It's, it's been, been a while. A while. They keep asking about you. Yeah, I just I've been babysitting and busy when they've been hanging out. Um, but they're gonna start thinking you don't exist again. What do you mean? Like, oh yeah, sure, she was a real person. We haven't oh. seen her in so long. Yeah. Or are, are you sure she's still alive? Yeah, that okay. too. I'm gonna be <laughs> Start being accused of murder yeah. soon. Um, or she, oh, she's babysitting. Oh, she couldn't make it. Oh, uh, she had a lot of stuff to do. Is she okay? <laughs> um, you can see she's okay. Yeah, I'm here. I'm mm -hmm. good, guys. Um, I was actually thinking about making a treat if we do go over there to bring over like a Halloween, like baked something. Halloween baked something. Ooh. I don't know. Um, but yeah. Super excited. Maybe some uh, brownies with the cherries in them. Oh, boozy brownies. Boozy brownies. Uh, yeah. Call them something fun and Halloween-y, dark. Maybe like vampire brownies. Why would they be called vampire Because the cherries are red. Maybe. We'll work on it. I don't know. Bloody brownies. Mm, maybe. We'll boozy, work on it. Boozy bloody brownies. I could put like that bloody ooze in it. Maybe. Yeah. We'll work on we'll it. We'll work on it. Um, yeah, but uh, Jeff and I have a date at 5 on Halloween. We are going to one of our favorite restaurants because they are doing a Halloween special. And they Which just... Which you have to mention. It says you have to mention it. There's no okay. way to like, input it. So we have to... I don't know if you tell the, the person hostess, that hosts this or the like waiter. The, our waiter. We have to tell them about it. Okay. So if you just waltz in there that day, I don't want really to give it to you. You have okay. to tell them that you know about it. Okay. That's how they fuck you. Yeah. So um, we're going to the Voorhees Rodizio Grill. Um, they're a Brazilian steakhouse. If you've never been there or been to a Brazilian steakhouse, they have like this long skewer of meat and they like come and like slice the meat at your table. Stir. <laughs> but it's fun and we haven't been in a long time. It's been a while. Yeah. Um, but they're so, having a buy one, get one 50% off, and they're having a bacon fest, so they're having yeah. lots of, like, bacony things, bacon, bacon wrap this. potatoes. Oh, and I'm looking that. forward to the, <laughs> they had some pork belly. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm looking forward to that, so it sounds delicious. <laughs> Peach is a bad influence. She, she sent me this email. She's I like, got the email today, and I was like, oh, well, we don't have plans. She sent me the picture, and I'm like, do you want to do that? Yeah, like, like, yes. It's been so long. I mean, most of the time, if she does stuff like that, she wants to. But sometimes when I ask, she'll be like, not really. I'm like, then why don't you show me? Like the like, other night, um, Sonic was doing the buy one, get one free footlong conies. And I like sent Jeff. Well, I got this. that email and I was like, she would like that. But I'm like, I don't like those. <laughs> and uh, Can I have a coney? Footlong Coney without the chili and cheese. Yeah, I had never had a ch chili dog before until not that long ago. Probably within the last year. It was like last summer, wasn't it? I didn't like it. <laughs> I like chili. I like hot dogs. 
I like some cheese. Mm. I don't like them all together. <laughs> that just doesn't mm. jive with me. When I was pregnant with Killian, there was like a sweet spot during my pregnancy where I wasn't sick. And I ate so many chili cheese dogs because that's like all I wanted. And like, I had some really amazing people around me during my pregnancy. And like my friend's dad like encouraged my bad eating because I was like having a time with Killian's dad while I was pregnant and I was over hanging out with my best friend at the time's dad and he was like you hungry and I was like yeah and he was like Boo said you've been really down with like chili cheese dogs recently and I was like yeah he's like how do you feel about corn dogs and I was like I love corn dogs he fucking made homemade corn dogs they were delicious Hmm. Well, anyway, <laughs> I wanted to be as enthused as you to my fucking inappropriate inflatable conversation we had um, some days ago because our friend Jay commented on that. And he was like, Peach seemed real enthusiastic about that story. And then I went back with the video. You could not have given a fuck about that story, about the inflatable. When I was done talking, you were like, well, anyway, <laughs> like, didn't give a shit. Didn't give a That's shit. That's not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's... So... Spicy. Smooth. Good. I put that... Apple-y, not caramely. But... But again, just like a regular caramel apple, that would probably be about... 75% apple, 25% so, caramel. So, surprisingly enough, I'm gonna say my favorite was the sweet cinnamon. And that was the one I thought I'd like least. Mm. Yeah, I might have to agree with you on that. Mm -hmm. It's a toss-up between the caramel apple and the sweet cinnamon. They're very... Okay, sweet cinnamon is, I guess, I would say at the top. Mm -hmm. Caramel apple and candy corn are right there neck and neck. And then pumpkin spice is in last place. So it would be sweet cinnamon, candy corn, caramel apple, pumpkin spice. The pumpkin spice one tasted awful. Yeah, but, I wouldn't say awful. I mean, as a whole, I'm glad we got these because they're fun, and I can't wait to let Killian try them because I want to see what he thinks. I'm eat the whole fucking bag. <coughs> what? So I might eat the whole fucking bag. Well, he's candy fiend. All right, so um, thanks for being here on the last Sunday of October, the 27th. Thank you so much. What we, a nifty little shirt you got. Oh, you like my my pumpkin? Nice pumpkin. I got shirt. this off of Jane. Before they fucking Well, closed. James walking around topless somewhere. The store. Give me a shirt, but I wear it. Okay, can we side note real quick? You know what I just found out? Yeah. Redbox is done. No shit. Where you been? I, I They ended in July. I had no fucking yeah, clue. Yeah, because nobody gives a shit about Redbox anymore. There's two Well, I got like eight and, codes. Yeah, well, guess what? You got nothing. That's what you got. Redbox is done. And the only reason I care about that is because that's where I bought all my cheap used movies. And now I can't fucking do that anymore. Thanks a lot, Redbox. I never rented anything unless I had a code. But I would buy... That's why they went out of business. I would buy cheap movies that were, like, used. I don't care no, if they had a case. Last Halloween for my boo, because we do a boo at work. It's like a Secret Santa, but it's Halloween-themed. I did like a stay at home basket for the girl that I had and in that I'm tuning out. I don't care about anything that has to do with the Well work. in that I had given I had bought codes off of Redbox, but you couldn't just buy one code. You had to buy a pack of codes. That's how they fuck you. Yeah, so I had to buy ten codes because that was the smallest pack. Well, I gifted her too because I also got like popcorn and a blanket and so like other stuff. I, I should have. Something that's worth it. You can't do shit. Yeah, with I with got them. eight codes sitting on because I was like, oh, I got the reminder email. No, again, you have nothing. Yeah, Those are not fuck. worth anything. What They're the done. Like, I really want to go over to the fucking red box that's across the way at the right aid that is also out of business and just break it the fuck open. Like, what the fuck's in here? I'm going to steal some discs. You ain't doing nothing with it. You can't say stuff like that. I didn't say I was actually going to do it. You can't prove if I did, but I'm just saying. It's just sitting over there. Nobody gives a fuck about it. There's discs inside of there. Maybe. If you really cared about it, then come get your shit. 
Man, I thought we were going to break it open. Thank you so much for being here. We appreciate you. <laughs> Bye. You sound scared. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Well, about what? Can you just say see ya? See ya.